Hello everybody, it is Wes Mula again, back on the Minecore. It's been a long time since I've made a video in general, and yeah, a lot of things have been going on. I'm pretty busy with school. Been uh started another channel, which you can check out, Carl Moneybags. It's uh featured on my channel, and that's where we do other games other than Minecraft. It's Called Carl Money Bags, but doesn't mean that it's just Carl Money Bags. It's actually most me, mostly going to be me doing videos on there still. But it's other games, uh, mostly Company Heroes too. But we're going to try other stuff too. So go check that out. Um, also, yeah, just didn't really know know what to do for a video on here either, and I was also pretty sick. Still, I'm a bit sick. And lots of family have arrived as well, so I haven't had much time to record. <coughs> My sister and husband and two kids arrived again from Australia, so they are here and we're doing lots with them, so haven't had time. Anyways, I am not at my base for once. It seems like every basis every episode I'm only at my base. Today we are at spawn. We are in front of this giant pit. Oh yeah. There's spawn in the background. And this is what I've been doing in my spare time while I haven't been working on <coughs> the base. The base is going along good. Things going on, but I think we need to do a little change. So for this episode, we're going to start work on a new arena. I dug this huge pit out with a beacon. And most of the arena is going to be in this. It's not going to come out too high. I don't know. I just like the idea of having an uh, arena in the ground, kind of. Anyways. I've got myself a whole bunch of andesite, which we'll be using, and I need this out. This is only some of it too. I I trucked lost back to my base as well. So that is our center block, and first things uh, first things first, we need to kind of mark out how big this is. So what I'm thinking is to have this not very much seating area and it's going to be very high at different levels so like a wall a little bit of seating wall going up higher a little bit more seating that kind of thing so i'm thinking the wall here so very little space we i am going to go into this top part a little bit and back there the only problem is carl is i don't think i've ever showed this actually carl has built a built this a while ago i just haven't been to spawn on the video in so long um, Carl built this, maybe I have showed this, I can't remember. Actually, I think I did show this. Oh well, I'll show it again. It's been a while. Money bags, sign. Very nice, very nice. And, there's so far no customers because the server has been absolutely dead as of late. And, hoping the numbers will pick up again because it's kind of lonely on here right now. Anyways, that's our center point, so I need to kind of make a smaller circle. The hard thing is, is making a smaller circle that kind of matches the outer circle. So I'm going to go ahead and come up with the big, best circle I can do, and then we'll see how she looks. So that's what I'm going to go with. I think it's not a perfect circle, but neither is the outside, and I kind of like the shape. And it also kind of matches, I think, the outside wall perfectly, which is good. I wanted that as well. So, it's not going to be the biggest arena, I know, I I, did, I kind of was, as you can see, because of Carlos Blue, I was kind of short for space, I didn't want to go too far into the ocean. So this is going to have to do, and now, um, I'm just going to bring these walls up a bit, I think, and then we can start putting in some detail. I also need to think where I want to put my, like, entrances for our heroes when we come in, all that cool stuff. But I'm gonna bring these probably up mm, about five probably. I'm gonna go around with some more andesite as you can see. And then we can get detailing after. There we go. Okay. So I brought these walls up and now we need to put some design into them. So what I was actually thinking was taking pieces, chisel stone, and then bring up this, take this side as well, we'll just do one section for now, fiddle, oops, 
Oops, build tool gets something we like. Bring up the stone. Alright, I also want to make a batch of the smooth stone as well. The polished. So I think that will go nicely as well. And I'm going to replace this with that. Let's do this. Oh, that end is way back. Okay. Get my stone brick out if I can find it. There we go. Okay, stone brick. Polished andesite. Stair. Now I'm gonna go stone brick stair. Block. Side down, stone brick stair, get some slab action in there. Side down, block. And I'll bring this down. Polished block, and upside down the stair like that. So once we got that in, we're up here for a second. I need some ladders really. Then I think for the top we'll go like this. I'm gonna go like that. Just alternate. Yes, like that. Well, that's how we are looking right now. I think it's turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect, of course, but I did the best I could in this situation, so I just doubled up these poles. I didn't put them on beside each other. I didn't really like the look of that. Put it one over, one out. He's carried this along. I'm thinking I'm going to have the entrances to the barracks in the corner, so I'll get Carl to rig something up here. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for the first layer, pretty much. I got the cobblestone walls in as well. <coughs> Looks pretty nice. Also, a thing I'm going to do for this end and that end is going to have like bits going up way higher and kind of hanging over for like VIP seating. So, um, this is probably going to change up here. It's probably going to go higher. Something like that. Um, but now, oh, that's my horse way up there. I found it after I had lost it for a long time. Now we've got to, I guess, figure out how wide we want this walkway. Probably only like four wide. And then we're going to go up a whole bunch more. Yeah, should be pretty cool. Let's. Although I am running on andesite, I used probably half my andesite just on this bit. So I think we need, we're gonna have a little stand section, but you need the walkway in front, so I'm gonna have to have. Yeah, I think three three section of stands is plenty, and we're already running out of space. So we'll see what we'll have to do. But uh, for now. I think I'm going to try try with these end bits with the VIP so you can get that started. Bring up the bars a little bit. <coughs> See how we're looking. Alright guys, so um, this is the next day. Got a lot done as you can see and I'm really liking the way this arena is starting to take shape. Like the look of it, and you can kind of see what's going on here. So we have the first layer, and then up here we have the first layer of seating. It's very basic, just with like some stairs up at certain points, and then it's just blocks. But I like it because it's nice and easy to like make bends and stuff. And then this is going to go up to the next layer, which is just this columned area, which is kind of just like a walkway around. Not really going to be seating there. And then we have the VIP seatings here and here. And some really high seating up there as well. And then, yeah, we'll go up another floor. We're going to have a, another walkway around here. This walkway around here. And what I ended up doing was I wanted, like, following these, uh, the archways to follow the bottom. But it kind of looked bad because there was something here. So I just put a block here. But then that also looks bad. The way I cover it is I put these cobblestone walls just to kind of put in support and make this not sticking out so much. And I really like the way that turned out. So 
yeah, I'm really happy with the way this is going. I've just been working like crazy on it. So, uh, also, I've had lots of time to think on what we're doing. So, I'm going to have the entrances to the barracks at the corners here. Me and Carl have come up with a really cool uh, door design, which Carl is going to build very soon here as well. Brought the beacon back because we need to dig out up there some more. And then on top of that layer, there's going to be another scene like this, and then there's going to be the roof covering everything. So that's going to be that. Another cool thing I didn't show you guys is a possibility we have just back here a little bit. I found a double spider spawner. So if we can hook that up with like some water streams and stuff, we can send some spiders into the arena as well right here. So not too far at all. Carl's already... We were going to turn this into a spider farm. There you did just put a whole bunch of hoppers, but that's a ton of hoppers. Just for some string, I don't know if it's worth it. So I think we'll just hook it up to the arena. So that's another possibility. I also have big plans for how the arena is going to work as well, like the center area, like the obstacles and stuff. But I think uh, I'll save that for later. See if I can get it to actually work. But yeah, <clears throat> things are going good. I think now I'm going to probably... Probably finish up the last layer. I'm going to do all the exterior stuff first, and then I'm going to start putting in the interior stuff, which will probably take just as long. It's like not as visible, but it's it takes a lot of time to do the interior stuff. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Just taking a break from the palace. Much needed break, because I've been just there for hours and just kind of losing a little bit of interest. So this has really fired me up again. Really, really enjoying it. So yeah, I'm gonna just continue working, and then we'll see where I'm at. Another cut. Okay, guys, are you ready? Um, I'm. I've gone as far as I'm gonna go today. I think this is gonna be the last cut of the day. Done a ton of work, and it is pretty much done for exterior-wise, like um, the surface stuff. So let's take a look. Right now you can't see a whole lot. It's pretty hidden. Pretty simple entrance. And yeah, but once you go inside, it's, it's pretty nice. So we walk in here, starting to get a look. We've got our top seating area. And there she is. Pretty nice, if I may say so. I'm really pleased how this went. <laughs> Had a lot of fun doing it. And yeah, all the exterior work is done. So I'll just show you this roof. I've got all these beams coming out. And let's get a better look. Nice classic roof design. The beam's holding it up. I think it looks really nice. So, and yeah, as I was telling you about these doors, last cut, uh, Carl has come in and put them, so I think I'll show you them now. So, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Just have my bow on me. Okay, so that's how they're supposed to be. <coughs> And what we wanted with these doors is to have like a diagonal hallway, so there's going to be more stone slabs going here. And it's, it was quite a trick to do, but if we pull this lever, it closes it, and it opens it as well. So one thing we had to do here, to get the, this is a triple extender here, which is really hard to make. So what, um, to simplify it, we used the slime blocks. And the slime blocks uh, made it so we just didn't, we just didn't have to stack this, we just made one. And unfortunately, though, the slime block carries these three blocks, these three blocks, and if we added one more slime block, we were going to carry this block as well, but that was too much for the piston capacity, because this piston has to push these two pistons as well. But it doesn't matter, we'll just leave this here and have a roof, so it'll still look fine. But another thing we also had to add was, we were like brainstorming over this for a long time, was a double extender here to push the block this this section that gets carried back to push it back into place so yeah I think I don't think this has ever been done before I think it's a custom design 3 by 3 diagonal door uh, if you really want a tutorial maybe I can get Carl to make one but yeah and see how it pushes it back out and then we got the obsidian here too because uh, the slime blocks won't pick up the obsidian so we'll make a design that works with this obsidian as well so no worries about that. All the doors are hooked up, and then we're probably going to have them 
individually operated and maybe in a master master lock in like this VIP section which I haven't done yet but yeah I'll take a look I wasn't too happy with the way these sections turned out but uh, whatever good enough so it got a little bit tricky because there's so many pathways coming to it this bottom floor so you go up go in here then you're in here <coughs> this is gonna go down to the hallways which also aren't completed still gotta do these dig them out and then from here you can go up and then there's the main walkway here and then we have a ladder which I'm not a huge fan of but I didn't have any choice to this top section oh man I still need to light this up but I wanna I don't wanna just spam torches everywhere I wanna like have choice lighting as you can see I put them on uh, fences to make it look nice so I'll figure out lighting for everything hopefully we don't have two mobs too many mobs hopefully that won't be too much trouble and yeah that's pretty much it um, I'm hoping to do another episode pretty soon after with the finished product. It shouldn't take us too long to finish it, and I'll show you the cool idea I had for the arena, the actual battle, what we're going to do for our fights. But yeah, it's capable of four teams. We're going to have four barracks with kits and everything. Should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully can uh, get some of the guys on the server back on again and get them on for a big fight sometime. But yeah. This this section I'll have more space to do what I want with it because I won't have the hallway coming in for the main entrance so this might be a little bit nicer here but for now I haven't really done anything. There's still a lot of mobs. There we go. Oh, it's got a sword. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Had a lot of fun making it. And hopefully I'm a little bit better, a little bit more consistent with making the videos. Because it's been a really long time. But, yeah. We'll see. I got DC TV coming up again, so I might not have time to make another episode. I'll try to get one out soon. Again, with the finished build. Because I kind of want to work on this till it's done. And then I'll get back to our base. Yeah. That's enough rattling on from me. I'll see you all next time.